Hey guys, just a little update. Um, I did a lot of work today, about five hours. Um, sorry about that. As you can see, it's pitch dark now. Well, not really pitch dark. The sky's still like dark blue, but uh, it's getting real late. And uh, I gotta go shower, get all this metal off of me. I've seen that one before. I've seen that one before, just did some. Counter sinking. Um, that one you've seen before. Um, this is Rawls. Uh, and I got the new one here, the tactical one. Um, as you can see, there's quite a few differences between both of them, but the, it's basically the same exact knife, uh, except this is the tactical version. Um, got the collab knife. Got this new little blank that I got from Chuck. Um, see, it just did a little bit of report, a little bit of a. Uh, I just kind of made the kind of the bevel fit my hand a little bit more comfortably. Just kind of fine tuning, you know. Um, made another one of these. Um, slightly bigger and uh, about. 50% thicker. Um, I might keep that one. I want to have like three of those. Um, gotta do this one. Uh, well, that's kind of a refurbish. Um, here's a little one for uh, Dylan. Um, as you can see, it's very, very comfortable. Um, it's very light, very small. Um, the big one I worked on today, my take on a Spartan chopping or a Spartan knife, um, very, very big. It's got my handle shape for the most part, but then it's going to have, um, curl overs, you know, the guard coming out from both, that's what the two, two holes are for, to stabilize that, uh, once I put the handle material, the handle material um, is going to come up here. It's going to be like bolsters and then one different color in the middle. But this one's going to come out into a horn on each side. Still got to do the thumb ramp, as you can see. It's a lot of work on that one. Um, and uh, now for the for this one. Here is the production blade for me and my friend um, this thing is freaking comfortable as heck so much nicer than the first one um, this is the final version with a half inch longer blade as you can see the grind is pretty much finished for a preheat treat but I am going to bring it all the way up uh, since I can I just um, I don't I've been working with uh, one belt today, which is the best one for grinding because it's kind of worn out. But it's good to get the, you know, the grind started. As you can see, it's not completely even, and that's because of a method I use to uh, remove steel a little bit faster. Because I mean, with the one by thirty, uh, it's really hard to get the stuff done quickly. But as you can. The holes here are drilled um, to line up the blade just enough so that it will balance perfectly once you have handles on there. And also, um, I didn't drill too many to keep the structural integrity of the blade. See on this one, I drilled quite a few. This one, just a few too. But on this one, this is thinner. This 8 inch. Um, I only did like... like uh, four um, weight reduction holes because it is thinner and actually it will flex a little bit if you put it on a vise um, so that's not too and then the blade is longer too so you do need a little bit more weight on the handle um, so I don't want to do too many holes on that um, what else yeah guys so that's what I worked on today for five hours how to shape all these out. 
drawing, you can see the ground, it's black with metal. Um, that's just from drilling right now. Um, here, I haven't emptied this in about two hours, so I'm going to show you how much metal is in there. I don't know how much, just a little bit. I emptied it out a while ago, and I haven't used it as much as I've been using other machines today. Oh, whatever. I'm going to go ahead and clean some of this stuff up. Um, yeah, guys. Um, I think I might need to raise this bench up a little bit. I mean, it's a little bit higher than waist high, but when you have uh, goggles on, right, when you have goggles on, um, imagine this is your, alright, if I can reach, this is my eye level right here, and to look down, I have to look down there.